Well, the American Cancer Society says there will be more than 22,000 new cases of ovarian cancer diagnosed this year, and it will take the lives of more than 14,000 women. The folks at the Ovarian Cancer Circle know too well how devastating the disease can be, so they're trying to help and really make a difference. And joining me now is the founder of the Ovarian Cancer Circle, inspired by Robin Babini. She is Paulinda Schimmel Bambini, and she's here to talk about their upcoming fundraiser. And good morning, welcome good for morning, joining Amy. us this morning. Tell us a little bit about what got you involved. I know it was your daughter. Robin. Well, first, I want to thank you so much for the opportunity and the privilege to be here. Mm -hmm. um, Robin complained at 16 of back pain. She would say every morning she's nauseous, mm -hmm. she'd have indigestion, and then she'd go off to school and be a regular teenager enjoying mm -hmm. school, home mm -hmm. uh, homecoming queen mm -hmm. and president of a student body. So we didn't take it seriously enough. And when she went to the gynecologist, he also didn't take it seriously. Mm -hmm. Because and of her age. Exactly. And just shrugged it off as someone that was young. So by mm -hmm. the time she got diagnosed, she had stage three ovarian cancer. And she was 17. She was 17 and she had a total hysterectomy and uh, did all the chemo. Mm -hmm. proceeded to start college at UCSB mm -hmm. and six months after her diagnosis and after her treatment the cancer came back mm. and ovarian cancer has uh, an 80 percent chance of recurrence oh, wow. which is a big problem so for high. many women mm -hmm. uh, they finish their treatment and then the disease recurs mm -hmm. so um, what part of our mission mm -hmm. I founded the circle to honor mm -hmm. her memory mm -hmm. and educate because mm -hmm. many women don't know anything about ovarian cancer. They don't know the symptoms mm -hmm. or how to be proactive. I give out these bookmarks mm -hmm. to talk about the symptoms. They're mm -hmm. on the back mm -hmm. and how to be proactive. Mm -hmm. And I'm very um, passionate about this. Mm -hmm. And this is what I've dedicated my life to mm -hmm. uh, doing, um, telling Robin's story. Mm -hmm. And you have a fundraiser coming up uh, called teal there's a cure because teal is the color, color. of ovarian cancer yes. and part of my mission in the ovarian cancer circle inspired by robin babini is the scarves mm -hmm. and the pendants mm -hmm. and the bracelets that we give out but i wanted to say one more thing about mm -hmm. the symptoms mm -hmm. because many women don't know them and they are bloating frequent urination constipation symptomatic of other diseases which is why it gets misdiagnosed a lot Mm -hmm. So I tell women to be very proactive. Mm -hmm. um, I ask, invite, and tell them to get a transvaginal ultrasound. Okay. Many women don't know what that is, mm -hmm. but it's part of it's a procedure so they can tell early on if you have any abnormalities. Mm -hmm. And yes, our fundraiser is April 29th mm -hmm. at the Catalina Jazz Club. Our uh, performer is Jane Meinheit. Mm -hmm. She's a Grammy award-winning performer. Mm -hmm. It's a great event. We have a sit-down, beautiful dinner and a fabulous silent auction. So I welcome everyone to come. Mm -hmm. All of our proceeds benefit ovarian cancer research. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk a little bit more because I think the most surprising thing to me when I first met you years ago was that the age of Robin, I, I didn't even know it was a possibility right. to get ovarian cancer at, such at 16. A young age. It was interesting too because um, we had a book at home that talked about medical symptoms. Mm -hmm. And Robin said to me, Mom, I think I have ovarian cancer. Mm -hmm. And I said, Robin, you're only 17. Mm -hmm. I also thought that's a disease that older women get. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that a young woman could get it. And that's part of my mission. Mm -hmm. Robin was a student at UCSB. Mm -hmm. She was a Kappa. Mm -hmm. I go to her school every year. Yeah. I give a community achievement award mm -hmm. to an outstanding Kappa. And I help educate these young women to know that anyone can get the disease. Yeah. It, age has no boundaries. How common is it, though, to get the disease at such a young age like that? Well, the more I've been doing this, I've been, Robin passed away in 2006. Mm -hmm. We founded the circle in 2010. Mm -hmm. So as I've been so involved with it, I have met uh, and heard about other women, young mm -hmm. women getting the disease. So it's not common, mm -hmm. but I alert a lot of women. I kind of almost like to scare them because... Mm -hmm. Many times doctors don't go there. Mm -hmm. They go to a gastrointestinal. So I highly encourage that if you don't feel well and you have symptoms, ask for a transvaginal ultrasound. All right. 
Linda, thank you so much. Thank and you. for uh, we thank you for being here and sharing really a personal story. But to find out more about the ovarian cancer circle inspired by Robin Babini and their teals, there's a cure fundraiser. Go to kcal9.com and click Seen on TV. We'll be right back.